Okay folks, so here is the awesome history of Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge as I understand it. So basically, there's this guy who came over from Europe as an immigrant named Paul Krogel back in the 1880s. And he came here and homesteaded right here in Sebastian on the other side of the um, little Indian River waterway. And he liked the pelicans a lot that were on Pelican Island, but he saw trappers and shooters were constantly coming to the island to shoot the pelicans to steal their eggs, especially, you know, for like the feathers for hats. And he didn't like that at all, so he had a boat, he named the Audubon, and he had a gun, and he went over there and stood watch over the birds. But he needed to do more than that, so he started raising an uh, awareness campaign. He got state protection for these birds, but then he was a real breakthrough came when there was, he got word of his plight came out to an ornithologist who headed a very well-known um, bird museum up in, um, in New York City. And this ornithologist came down to here to Pelican Island and confirmed that this on Pelican Island was the very last rookery of brown pelicans either in existence or in America. It was very one of the last. And so he, so this ornithologist and Krogel and a few other guys who came on board, they went up to President Teddy Roosevelt, pleaded on his conservation values, and they, and he, he got him to sign into law Pelican Island being the very first national wildlife refuge. And the rest they say is history. Music